Hello, hey, this is Pat and with Yankee Mold Incorporated. And I'm still working on this rotating fixture that I've wanted for a long time. And it occurs to me that uh, I just don't have a way to hook anything to it. And I thought that I would come along with you today and we'd just make up something to hook up something to it. Anything. And I went out back and I hunted around and I found a piece of four inch diameter round stock. And that's what we're going to use is a piece of four inch diameter round. And I think about an inch long, more or less. And that should do it. That should make a piece that we can screw onto a vise or screw onto a plate or whatever we need to do to hold things. So I would like to go with you for a few minutes and we'll just design it and then turn it and then mill it and will be done. Thank you very much. Hi, I'm Beth Pat's uh, sidekick in crime here. Batman and Robin, Fred and Barney, whatever it is we are doing today, we're going to do it in Inventor. And so first off, we're drawing a part because we're not doing an assembly. We're not doing a 2D drawing. We're doing a part. So we picked the word part in Inventor. new and the first thing you seem to always do in this is to start a 2d sketch i happen to work on the xy plane most of the time and in this case we're just making a fixture so i'm going to draw a circle and i'm going to lock it on zero zero i'm going to draw it at three and seven eighths because we've got some four inch stock and then you always have to zoom it down so you can see it for me i'm going to extrude it and I know I want just a flange to set this on, so I'm going to make it 3125. Okay, that looks pretty good. Again, with, uh, with Inventor, Fusion, all these things, you have to start a sketch. I want it on this surface. I'm just going to draw another circle. It's pretty easy. Base it on zero. Fin, you finish the sketch. A lot of these are the same command over and over. I'm going to extrude it and this time it's going to be 0.6875 thick. That looks good. So the other thing I need now is I need this hex in it. So again I start a 2D sketch. It's going to be on this surface going to in this case be a polygon and my default is 6 which is a hex I'm going to again lock it in on 0 lock it relative to the vase even though this is round and I'm going to put a dimension on it so we can get the size and I know it want to be 7 eighths to fit with that uh, little fuse we've already made and the thing is when it's purple it means that it's not locked into the all the coordinates it needs some more constraints the easiest way to get these is to push this little thing up here that's going to say auto dimension and apply the constraints and you apply now it's turned black instead of purple so it means you've got it and you can finish your sketch in this case, I'm going to extrude again. I don't want it going that way. I want to take away. I want to cut away steel. So I put it that direction. I only need it to be a quarter of an inch, not all the way through. So now I've got a little hex in there to mount on my fuse and keep stuff from rotating. So I've got that. Next, all that's necessary is a socket head cap screw hole recess for a 3 8 bolt to bolt this onto our fuse. So in that case, I have to turn it around till I can see the back. And again, the uh, inventor and fusion thing is to always start another sketch on this surface. And all I really need is a point to tie my cap screw recess into. Again on zero, zero. Ah, something went wrong something finish sketch let's see what happened still looks okay 
Okay, so now I need a hole. So happens that the last thing I used was a cap screw counter bore. Going to use it again, but a different size. In this case, it's 406. I want the so for a 3 8 cap screw, it would be a 406 diameter through and 406 deep. And the head, I happen to know, is one and a half times the body, plus a little bit for uh, clearance. So it would be a 562 on the screw, so I'm going to type in 590 for the counterbore diameter. But I didn't put a decimal place in, so now it looks right. Uh, everything's highlighted correctly. Now it looks right. If I take a look at it, looks good. Only somehow I don't want everything to be sharp corners. So I'm going to apply a fillet. Default in this program happens to be an eighth of an inch, which will be fine for here and here. But out here, this is only 5 sixteenths thick. So I'm going to go ahead and do a smaller fillet of a sixteenth out there. So I want there and there to be a sixteenth. And we're done with that. So it looks good. Swing it around so you can see the various sides. We've got something that we can take out there and make. And what we're going to do is you could machine this. I'm going to EDM it. And out here is where I would put some extra holes to mount whatever it is I'm going to polish or work on. Since I want to use this as a universal, I'm not going to put those holes in until I'm ready to mount whatever I'm going to polish. So this is it. And now we can go out to the lathe and see how it works out. Thanks for watching. Okay, so we can start by drilling the hole. Is this on? It's on. Okay, we'll start by drilling a hole here. And first things first, we need the center drill because after all, we need a little bit of a mark at the center. Okay, here it is. This is our piece. It's all done. 
and I wanted to show it to you on the piece here on the fuse and ball ball and fuse or whatever and it does fit on here and that's it and we can mount whatever we want out here be it a vice or whatever and it'll work perfect so thanks